Hello everyone and welcome to Battle Report number 25 for my channel, as long as I can count right, that's 25. Uh, today we have a Dwarves versus Forces of Nature Battle Report, 2000 points. The scenario we rolled up was Kill and Pillage. Uh, before we start, I'd like to make a, a small request. So if anyone lives here, as in here, as in where the map is pointing at, central Iowa, um, we're really kind of having some trouble finding people to play Kings of War, um, which is weird. Um, but I'll, I'll not get into that. Um, anyway, so we played Arkham Games. There's some links of value for you there. ArkhamGamesIowa.com or Facebook Arkham Iowa. So we're, it's a small shop, but it's pretty good. Um, we play on Saturday afternoons. So if you want to come, uh, leave a message somewhere in here or there or show up on a Saturday afternoon and we'll play some Kings of War. So now that that commercial break is over, uh, it's not a commercial, I guess, if you don't get paid for it. But anyway, so uh, my list is as follows. Uh, playing dwarves, I have a Shieldbreaker Horde, Brute Sharpness, Earth Elementals, Horde, Blessing of the Gods, Ironclad, Regiment, um, Orc Banes, Amulet, the, the Phalanx one, a Regiment of Rifles, two Troops of Rangers, one Berserker Troop, one Ironclad Troop, one Ranger Captain with Wings of the Honey Maze, one Stone Priest, Bane Chant, Brew of Haste, two Army Standard Bearers, uh, one Naked and one with a Boomstick, and two Orkin Guns. Mix up 2,000 points. My opponent's playing Forces of Nature. He has uh, what he normally brings. A Salamander Horde with Brew of Sharpness. A Salamander Horde with Brew of Strength. Earth Elemental Horde with Brew of Haste. Earth Elemental Horde with Brew of Courage. A Druid with Bane Chant. A Unicorn with the Inspiring Amulet. A Unicorn. A Tree Herder with the Regen Amulet, I think it's Amulet of Life or something like that. And two Beasts of Nature. Um, both of them have the Lightning Bolt upgrade and the Vicious upgrade. So I'll hop into deployment from right to left. For me as dwarves, uh, we have one r troop of rangers, one troop of berserkers. In the woods, we have the Greater Earth Elemental. Behind him is the Stone Priest in his standard position. Uh, next to them is the Horde of Earth Elementals. In the middle, we have the standard screen ironclad troop, who is always screening my shield breakers. So the shield breakers are right behind them. Uh, and then on next to them is the uh, army standard bearing bearer operating the boomstick, a regiment of sh ironclad with the uh, phalanx item. Um, you can see then I have my first organ gun. Go to the next picture. We have the regiment of rifles. Behind the regiment of rifles is the army standard pair without anything on him. Um, then we have the other organ gun. And then far on the end, we have a ranger captain and a troop of rangers. So that's all of it for the dwarves. For the forces of nature from left to right, we have tree herder, uh, horde of earth elementals, horde of earth elementals. Um, force, uh, beasts of Nature, Unicorn, Beasts of Nature. Um, these are, of course, the Beasts of Nature with the laser bolting. Uh, the left horde of salamanders, with the less paint on them, is the uh, Brew of Strength one. Behind them is the Unicorn. Uh, the salamanders behind the tree are the Brew of Sharpness one, and I think the, the um, Druids behind them somewhere. So, um, this is how it looks. You can see, I think we rolled up something like five tokens. Um... It was something like that. It was like one of the lower numbers. And so they're just kind of spread out in the middle like that. So we go into turn one. And turn one goes to the... Uh, actually, I rolled up. I won, but I had him go first. So the uh, nature opponent moves forward, forward, and then starts um, moving his beasts of war over. The other side, he just moves up as much as he can. In the shooting phase, um, there's a little a bit of surge action over the farm. And yeah, I think that's about it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So the doors, I said, um, you start moving up. Um, not super aggressively because I have the range, but a little bit. You can see over here, just a little bit. And sw swooping way around with those rangers and um, with the uh, berserkers. Uh, we go into shooting, and I forgot to put a shooting tag in here, but there's a couple points of damage on these guys. And one point of damage on the uh, tree hunter. Yeah, so. Uh, bottom of turn one, just square enough, nothing too much. But you can definitely see I'm uh, using my drops to my advantage quite, quite out flanking. So going to turn two. Turn two, uh, he moves up quite aggressively. So you can see he comes on out of the trees there. 
um, his um, co his group of laser laser blasting triceratopses are moving up over there. Um, and his uh, earth elementals move up. I think just to stay a little bit out of staying out of charge range. Um, now that I've started remembering to put the shooting tags in at this point, um, the one of the one of the um, beasts of war shoots my army standard bear operator, and the other one puts a couple points of damage on my um, ranger captain. But they're cool. Everybody's cool. So as the end of nature turn two, dwarves turn two. Not surprising. I don't. I don't charge. Um. The uh, most of everyone. I'm actually is on this side is where I want them. So, um, we're just gonna sit still and shoot. Um. So you can see the uh, the ironclad troop there moved up to um, essentially chaff up his um, salamander horde. Um. On this on the other side, the uh, ironclad regiment. Moved up um, to make sure that he couldn't wheel and charge any of my shooting units. So, covering that side. Um, over here, actually back up my berserkers a little bit. Um, to making sure he doesn't have range to charge anything except for the greater earth elemental. Um, I like to put him out front. He's really tough, high nerve. He's not that combat -y, so if anyone should take a charge, it's him. And then we go into shooting phase, and holy crap, Ola. Um, I have a lot of shooting on this side. I mean, I have the ranger captain. He's got three shots. The rangers have 10 shots, um, 30 organ gun shots and 12 rifle shots. Um, he had no cover and he just got, he just got shot to pieces. Like I just rolled really, really good. So, and then, yeah, I think that was showing you. I even rolled double six just to, you know, <laughs> really put a, really put the uh, pain on top of that. So that was um, actually quite amazing for me. Um, a whole horde just smacked off the board. So it so looks like at the end of Dwarves turn two, moving to turn three, uh, nature turn three. He doesn't charge, but he does move up on the side. Um, I think he's, he's up to some point where he can maybe get a, a, a surge off or something. But uh, and over here, he charges the ironclad because why not? Uh, and you can see his beasts of nature are hanging out in the woods. So his beasts of nature shoot my um, army standard bear, and they actually succeed in wavering him. Um, and my opponent tries a surge um, to get this guy up, and you know they don't make it, but they get up a little bit. And to super super um, make sure that he's gonna kill this troop, he puts Bane Chan on these guys. It was actually a good idea. Um, so he does 10 points of damage and routes him, which is fine. They did their job, and he reforms like such. Yep, so that's what it looks like after nature turn three. Dwarves turn three. Uh, we go on the attack. So uh, my shield breakers and my bull, well, they're not bull workers, uh, ironclad double charge the horde of salamanders. Um, you can see on the right there, those guys are just sitting still. Um, yeah. Uh, I double charged the earth elemental horde that had got surged up. So you can see that in the middle. And then on the other side, I, uh, charge my, um, berserkers into the flank of the tree herder. Now it's not a great chart or not a great event. Cause you go, like, oh, yeah, 40 attacks, but you know, hitting on fours, winning on sixes is, you know, but it might be something there for if I can get a Bane Chan off, which I do. So I get a crushing strength on these guys, which will help a lot. Um, also in the shooting phase, I put all of my shooting into this beast of nature. Um, he is getting cover, but I still have lots and lots and lots of shots. So enough of them are getting through, and they all generally have you know, at least piercing too. Uh, moving into combat, um, I actually get five points of damage through on this tree herder, which, you know, is, is, is pretty good. Again, because like I said, you're... I'm, I'm hitting on four, so I'm hitting 20 times on average, and, and then I'm wounding on fives, so that's only a third, so we're looking at six, maybe seven, so, well, you know, pretty good, actually, um, for how hard of that target is. Um, these guys do terrible, just terrible. Um, they only get five points of damage through, so they, they kind of whiffed and failed quite badly. Um, 
in the middle of the uh, combined charge, they get 15 points of damage out, which isn't, you know, well, that's okay. But what makes it really okay is that I successfully waver him. So, his, his essentially his deadliest unit is now wavered and stuck. So, that's really good. So, there's the end of Dwarf turn 3. Uh, we move into turn 4. Um, nature turn 4. Uh, he does what he would do. Um, lots and lots of charges. So, um... His tree herder and earth elementals there go into my flank in front of my greater earth elemental, which was going to happen. Um, I, you know, since those guys didn't break that other earth elemental, he did end up with his butt hanging out. Um, his earth elementals next to them go into my earth elementals, and I know I know that's getting confusing hearing me say that, but... Oh, sorry. Um, he, um, he originally puts both of his... Um, unicorns uh, there to interdict uh, my my shield breakers and I eventually was like well you might not want to put both of them there put one there because um, if you put both of them there I can just chain through all of them because he's just you know obviously going for a hope that hey maybe I'll maybe I'll flub a little bit and I won't get to him and so the, the that horde won't be you know stuck there and dead um, he does move one of them later and you'll, you'll see that uh, on this side the um, the uh, one of the Beast of War comes charging out into my um, Ironclad, which is which is fine. Uh, healing, he gets these guys healed up you know, pretty reasonably. Um, a couple more healing over here, or regen probably. Uh, shooting, he picks on my Army Standard Bear, who's who's backwards because he was wavered, so he could only he could turn around and essentially moonwalk um, to keep everyone inspired, but. They're not inspired anymore because he's dead. Uh, in the combat, um, my opponent has some really, really bad dice. Um, his uh, his tree herder and these guys just do a really poor job and hardly get any points. One, they get nine points of damage, too, which is, I don't know, not great. Um, these guys also do really bad. So, hooray. Um, his Beast of War only puts three points of damage on these dwarves, which is pretty bad. Uh, overall, um, I'll probably be saying that a lot this game, but like, wow, I was really lucky. So, uh, not to spoil too much, but anyway, so there's there's Nature Turn 4, and then here's just more of an action shot of Nature Turn 4. Uh, so we hop right into Dwarves Turn 4. So, um, Dwarves Turn 4, not sure. Um, so, Greater Earth Elemental goes forward into those elementals um i think my berserkers hit the flank if i do recall um the shield those the next the earth elementals go into earth elementals the shield breakers go into the unicorn um i do believe that my you can see it over here my ironclad with the spears there go into that beast of war and the ranger captain um next to him there goes flying into the flank just to add a couple more a couple more hits um, he is crushing strength, so might as well uh, send someone in there. So, oh, you can see everyone else is just sitting still because they're shooters. And speaking of shooting, we hop into shooting and we get a few more points of damage on this beast of war. And he, a beast of nature, and he is kaput. So he falls over. Um, here, <laughs> we don't do very good, but that's okay. A couple points of damage in. Um, not surprisingly, the shield breakers beat up this unicorn really good and route him. And then I roll my, I think it was like a 4 or a 5 plus I had to roll um, to get into these guys, and I roll it. So, very lucky for me. Um, very unlucky for my opponent. And as expected, they're gone. Um, they're routed, and I reform like such. Um, the combat's over here. Um, man, our Earth Elementals are just beating each other up. Um, they're both defense 6, so they're just going to smack each other for a while. Um, the combined, uh, my, my berserkers do basically nothing in the flank because they're, again, they're hitting defense six stuff. It's just not, it's not what they're for. And I, and I couldn't get a, a Bane Chan on them because everyone is too tall, um, between my stone priest there. Um, so he couldn't Bane Chan them. So, um, and I think he failed the Bane Chan the other people. So, you know, everyone's just kind of bouncing around. So my greater earth elementals toast, but you know, he tried. Uh, so there's the end of Dwarf turn 4. Uh, looking pretty good for the Dwarves. 
Uh, we get into nature turn five. Um, his uh, tree herder goes in to finish the job in the greater earth elemental. And I think the other guys, the earth elementals might double charge my earth elemental. It's something like that. It's been like a, a few days since I played this, but it was something like that. Uh, his beast of nature goes back into my dwarves. Um, and his other unicorn there, who I had told him not to not to waste before, goes up to uh, interdict um, against, yeah, to try to stop um, me from getting into those earth elementals next turn. So, um, another picture of that. Um, this beast of war doesn't do that great. Or beast of nature. Doesn't do that great. Just three more damage. But it is enough to waver these guys. So that's okay. I can live with that. Um, over here. Uh, no, they must have. Yeah, I think I'm right. Um, they put quite a bit of damage on this guy. They get him up to 16. But um, my luck is still holding out. So <laughs> my opponent rolls a double one. Um, so he's not going anywhere. Um, these guys, on the other hand, are going, and that's that's okay. <laughs> um, they, he finally got a pretty good roll off with his. Um, so you can see he he um, yeah he had double charged my earth elementals with his earth elementals. So it's not surprising that that happened. Um, but he 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 um, backs he backs to back his earth elementals there. Um, that's it for for nature five. Here's just another shot. So dwarves turn five. Um, you start right out, and I pass me some headstrong. Um, on this side, um, my berserkers go in to his tree herder. Um, my stone priest goes to stand between his tree herder and my greater earth elemental. Uh, my rangers and my greater earth elemental go into a fairly undamaged um, earth elemental horde. Um, and my um, shield breakers are going to the back of their that unicorn, but the thing that looks like it, but it isn't. Um, nobody charges that beast of war or beast of nature there on the top. Um, they're just sitting there because, well, he's height four and I'm, I'm height one, so no one's getting any cover. So um, they're just going to sit there and claim that token, and I'm going to shoot that guy to death. Uh, just for a little bit of luck. <laughs> we get a Bane Chan off on on my uh, Berserkers. So hopefully that'll help them get something through. Otherwise, in the shooting phase, we do a ton of shots and blow this guy out of the, out of the sky. I guess, well, I guess he's not in the sky, but we, we, we turn him into mush. So he falls over. Uh, we're going to combat, and these guys did pretty good. They uh, smacked this guy up, no problem. And I get my overrun. It was like a five again, and I get it. Um, so that's not good for my opponent. What's also not good for my opponent is is I roll out of the box. Is that, is that the phrase? Out of the yeah. I roll really, really good. So my shield breakers just make mince mean of these elementals. Um and end up like this. Um combat's over here. Um these berserkers actually get enough damage. In and I roll well enough that I actually waver um, the tree herder. So that's huge for me. Again, luck is just really, really hanging out with me tonight. Um, and these guys do okay, but they don't finish out this Horde of Earth Elementals. So um, here's what it looks like right now. Um, it's basically just dwarves covering the board. Not surprising. Uh, so we start turn six, and my opponent concedes. So, um, I don't blame him. He didn't have anything left on the board. His tree herder wasn't going to get to do anything, so I was going to get to do whatever I wanted to him next turn, and it wasn't going to work out. So, uh, result, the dwarf was victorious, and the nature, my opponent, accepts his, his defeat. Um, no need to count it up. We didn't even play a full game, but... Uh, that's why my thoughts on this whole thing say never, never leave home without luck. Um... I really, uh, I think, I think I played this game right. I mean, I, I did have a lot of luck. No, no question like that. But I, I also think I did play this game right. I, I use my tactical advantage numbers. Um, I use my ranged attacks to benefit. Um, I use my chaff 
everything everything went how I needed it. I got all the overruns, which you know you can't always count on those, but and the shooting worked out surprisingly well. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll probably not put out as many. Re well, okay, so I'll put out more reports, but I end up playing this guy all the time and. Even making the reports over and over again get a little boring. So, um, hopefully, we'll have some different opponents next week for a, a various normal of people in town. But we'll see. So, um, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.